Sri Lanka came within a hair's breadth of beating Hong Kong in the final of the first leg of the Asia Rugby 7 Series. As if to say, not so fast young fellas, Hong Kong dominated Sri Lanka in the second leg final to all but sew up the series title. As the teams travelled to Colombo for the third and final leg, will home turf be the impetus for Sri Lanka's first ever tournament final victory? Sri Lanka's near miss in the Hong Kong final was the culmination of just over one year's work under head coach Matt Turner. Prior to Turner's reign, Sri Lanka had been stuck in a semi-final rut, routinely dispatching its quarter-final opponent before being routinely dispatched itself in the semis. In those days, we just play sevens. What we do, what we, our coaches told us, just play and defense, but when Matt came, he gave us a pattern to play on, on defense and attack and both. Uh, for past, uh, last year, we couldn't apply it very much, very well, but this year we did it. So when we did it, we were in the final, so all the guys now know what to do. To be fair, Japan was up front prior to the 2016 campaign regarding the strength of the team at Woodfield. With a hectic Olympic training schedule and a looming season ahead on the World Rugby 7 Series, last year's winners are in fact the developmental team in 2016. Into the vacuum has stepped Sri Lanka, having put distance between itself and the likes of Korea and China, both previous winners of the series. First season was hard getting, getting the guys to change what they've been taught and coached in the past, but now they're understanding why I'm, I'm changing into you know, bring out the best in them, and it's showing this this season so far. There's always an adjustment period following the appointment of a new coaching regime, and Sri Lanka's transition from Ben Gollings to Matt Turner was no different. For Sri Lankan captain Danushka Ranjan, one aspect of the change Turner brought into the squad stood out above all else. Api Matt Turner Galing, Api Godak, Api. Podi match logo match dega ma individual tamai play kare kyan thani thani ama then me tar passe abe team me kudiya da goda isra da no. With the players fully committed to Turner's philosophy, his job is evolving. Time spent previously on development and pattern repetition is now being expanded on real time analysis. That is recognizing in a live environment how the opposition is performing and formulating methods to take advantage. There's a lot of talk between the boys saying, you know, we, we've we got to minimalise our errors um, and capitalise on the opposition's errors. Um, and they're, they're approaching, I mean, training and everything in a much more mature way now, because I now think they, they don't see themselves as a tier two within Asian nations. They, they see themselves in the top two now. As the third leg of the series rolled into Colombo, Hong Kong needed just a semi-final appearance to wrap up the title and claim the first of two World Series qualifying spots. Sri Lanka had the inside track on the second spot, but a tournament victory from Korea could have seen them vault into a qualifying position. And they made their intentions clear during Saturday's pool play when they handily defeated an awkward Malaysia and an understrength Japan. Malaysia regrouped following their defeat to Korea and provided the shock of the tournament when they beat Hong Kong 19-14. However, Malaysia couldn't capitalise on the result, going down in their next match to a steadily improving Japan. Hong Kong, meanwhile, having lost in the pool stage for the second successful tournament, bounced back with a 26-15 win against Korea to go top of Pool A. Both Hong Kong and Japan earned their placings via head-to-head -head wins. In Pool B, 
The hosts open the tournament with a tricky win over an improving Chinese Taipei. Taipei put up the first points, but Sri Lanka went on a 26-point blitz to win it handily. They followed that up with a dismantling of Singapore, putting up 66 points in the process. China continued its unblemished run in group play with convincing wins over the same Singapore and Chinese Taipei sides before facing Sri Lanka and the group decider. The hosts appeared out of sync, surrendering 24 points to China and were relegated to Group B's runners-up. Singapore, facing relegation pressure, pulled out a narrow 7-0 win over Taipei to finish third in the group. When we return, men's semi-final action from the Sri Lanka Sevens gets underway. Stay right where you are. For the third time in three meetings, the top seems to move into the semi-final round of the Asia Rugby Sevens Series. With two places in the World Series qualifying tournament at stake, Hong Kong is in, and Sri Lanka, with a win, would lock up second spot. Benjamin Rimini from Hong Kong, leading point scorer in the series, starts with a mistake and straight into the hands of Hishala Kuritnati. Straight up to the ex-skipper. An early try for Sri Lanka. A mistake from Rimini from the kickoff. Here it is, uh, Meacham couldn't get to it and he was playing advantage of the referee to see if Sri Lanka would do and that's exactly what they did. And you can see all the backup support that required and it's a great start for Sri Lanka. And things settle down a bit again as Meacham over the halfway line. This is cool, patient play by Hong Kong, Lee Jones, it's the two forwards, it's Jones, it's Woodward. Woodward doesn't hear the call, come back on the inside. What a passage of play this is. Woodward back to Jones. Jones takes on Dayan, the try scorer. And there's Kadu Lee and Max Woodward finishes a 100 metre effort, coast to coast for Hong Kong. And that's a champion effort from Hong Kong, finished by skipper Woodward. Up goes Coverdale once again. Beautiful set pays phase from Hong Kong. Vardy and Yu Kam Shing, the two veterans, the two speedsters. Yu takes on the outside shoulder of Shunas Surya Bandera, and he will be unhappy with his effort there as Yu Kam Shing nails an important try for Hong Kong. Two minutes remaining in this first cup semi final. Sri Lanka need to score and they need to score quick and they've had two scruffy old scrums in. Woodward with the try line ahead of him. The skipper gets the big legs pumping and could that be the try that sends them into their third cup final. I think that when you get to a stage when you're perhaps not playing the best rugby that you have played but you're still finding ways to find yourself through the semi-finals and potentially finals as well, you're doing something right. So that goes down again, you know, it's no cliche, it's the hard work of the players have put in and all the staff uh, that are associated with Hong Kong rugby. Sri Lanka's lost left the door open for Korea if they could win their next two matches. Here goes Jong, he needs a little bit more space than that to get away. Chinese will be very aware of what he can do. Armour's out from Matt Rodden, and they've come around the short side. It's Jiang. Good inside ball back to Jiang Li Wei, and they're open their account. First real chance, China, and they've put him away for five points. Here come Korea. It is completely broken open. Chang, who started the movement down the far side. They need Jong. There he is. They won't stop him. The Korean veteran, end to end to end. <laughs> what a passage of play there, and Korea are back in the semi-final. Jang gets over the top, tries to disrupt that. Another raid down the side. This time it's Kim Sung Soo who gets the arms free for Kim Jong Min. And straight from the restart, that's a punishing second try for South Korea. <laughs> Big shove from China. Han comes away with it and he has to secure this ball, but he's held on to that crucial mistake from the new man and 
Surely they won't stop him from there. Lee Deng Key goes over for the crucial score. Rodden's going to the pocket. And a card to rub some salt into the eyes there for the Koreans. John Walters will be spitting. That's a great vision. An opportunist try for China. They read that well. Korea with their six men are looking for points against the odds, against seven. Here goes Jong. Jong, he goes on the outside. There's Jong, and look at the gas from this veteran. And he's put his hand up. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. And look at the back slapping there from the Koreans. How happy are they? It looks like they're going to their first final. We're working really hard to be consistent throughout a, a tournament. You know, Hong Kong, we dropped a game, uh, a pool game, to put us on the bad side of the, of the ladder in the semis. And uh, of course, in Seoul, we, we dropped our semi finals. So you know, for us, it's about being consistent um, and, and working hard to be disciplined so that we, uh, we can play our game. Men's third and fourth and women's finals action when we return. The hosts need a win in the third and fourth place playoff of the Sri Lanka Sevens to earn a berth in the World Series qualifiers. Will China relent? Here we go for the third and fourth playoff. It's the hosts, Sri Lanka, up against China. Ma Chong gets underneath this one. Batted back by Gal, this impressive tall man, and can he control this one? What a start from Sri Lanka as they blitz their way down in front of the main stadium, in front of all their fans. Good hands from Ranjan. Can they finish and start this with a flourish? Damapala, Damapala, Richard Damapala. What a crowd pleaser that is. Here's Ranjan. Now. Will this man be able to stand up in the moment of need? Look at the contest there from China, and he managed to keep his feet almost. <laughs> Did Feng, and he taps and goes. But you got to, can't be within the five for a quick tap. And big man Chen goes in and crashes over for China's riposte, right next to the upright. Damapala puts in the big Dalek hand off and gets the kick away. There's no one in front here of Surya Bandera. Coming back at him was Feng and Surya Bandera. He's been quiet this game and suddenly explodes into action. Ritwat goes in and dishes it out. Here's Ranjan. Can he slip the tackle? Yes, he can. He needed to do that. On his outside, he's got Ramanayake. He doesn't need him. And he's going to beat Wang in a foot race. And cometh the hour, cometh the man, the skipper, has given Sri Lanka a big boost. And they could start it here through Wang. They've gotten away with something there. Back comes the defense. Shan is on hand, and he scoots the tackle. And Ramanaka's not going to catch him as he goes over in the corner into the hands of Jang. Can they control this ball? Yes, they're straight through the line. It's Shan again. He's going to go under the post. This is tragic for Sri Lanka. Into the 22 now. Sri Lanka desperately trying to hold on as they hold a four-point lead. They let China back into this game. Wang, has he got the arms free? Jang just had to grab that. He's going to go under the post. Wang is going to go over. Handy to the post. And it looks like Sri Lanka have blown this. They've led in three tries in two minutes. An unbelievable finish by China. We yesterday had a match with Sri Lanka and the Philippines. In the past few months, there was a match with Sri Lanka and the Philippines. In the past few months, there was a match with Sri Lanka. Having split the first two legs, the Japanese and Chinese women met in the finals for the third time in a match that would decide the series. Nakamura picks it up there from a huge scrum from the Japanese. Didn't see that coming. 
Boggy Drum in Adave, this huge Fijian born jab. Here's Susumi, Honoka Susumi in for one of her many tries of the series. Show and go from Yamanaka. She hasn't got the gas to see off Liu. Chinese work hard to get back behind the ball. They swing it to the left. Boggy Drum in Adave. And a Kuai for the corner. Kuai! Try number two for Japan. Yamanaka. Suzuki, the hard working forward. Misaki Suzuki bobbles it, takes it. Yamanaka. Yuki Su now tries to get around the outside of who. Still with only six players on the field. Japan, can they get another one with just six on the field? Straightening goes Shimizu. Maya Shimizu. 15 tries for the series. Japanese defense will pride itself on keeping China to zero if they can. Trying to scoot around the outside. There's Liu. A centering kick. A little grubber forward. She's got Susumi all over her. Just has to control it. She does. She picks it up. Susumi pulls her down. And what an effort from Liu Yan. A great individual effort from China. <laughs> Japan wins its second event of the season and repeats as Asia Rugby Women's Seven Series Champions. A shout out to Thailand, who had wins over Japan and Hong Kong on its way to a third place finish in Colombo. When we return, Korea tries to book its place in the World Rugby Seven Series qualifier with a win over Hong Kong. Stay with us. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. With 119 results in the bag, the last match of the 2016 Asia Rugby Seven Series was the Sri Lanka Sevens final between Hong Kong and Korea. A match Korea needed to win if it hoped to earn a spot in the World Series qualifier. And Hong Kong with some early position to do something with it. He goes covered out, puts in the big fend. It's taken down by Kim Jong Min. And they swing it back the other way. Just stress testing this Korean defense. Yu Kam Shing, the veteran poster boy of Hong Kong Sevens rugby. There's a mad tussle on the ground there. And look how keen these Koreans look. All pumped up in their first cup final. Kokolard. Bends down from a huge height. They go for the cheeky kick. There's no one back there. Yu Kam Shing's been beaten for pace here. He gets the bounce beautifully into the hands of Chang Yon Hung and try number one in this cup final after an opening salvo by Hong Kong. Korea goes 70 meters in next to the post. What a start. Kadu Lee feeds the scrum. Comes back nicely, Rimini sees something happening, pops it to Vardy. He's got three Koreans all over him like a cheap suit. And on the wrong side there was Lee Jo Bok. Just a little bit of indiscipline in Hong Kong here. Through Ben Rimini looks up, sees he, the waters of the Red Sea parting. And Benjamin Rimini fights back for Hong Kong with one right under the post. And surely he'll convert this. And out to Rimini, he's got Kadu Lee outside him. Jong's out there, can Jong get across? He's quicker than Lee. Kadu Lee does well to shug off Jong. Rimini's going in, he's off his feet there, the Korean defender, it's a penalty. And still we go on, this is madness, and Ben Rimini's gonna go in for a second try after an absolutely insane couple of minutes of play up and down the field. That is absolutely tiring. Look at the players scattered everywhere. Rimini's tap and go gave Hong Kong a narrow seven point half time lead. So at the break, Hong Kong 14 7, pulling it back from 7 0 down. And the conditioning of both these sides now will be critical. Seven minutes remaining 
in this season of sevens. Lee Jones gets Rowan Vardy up high, but coming away with it is Kim Jong Min. Could do Lee there making a real nuisance of himself. Jong. Who's going to be the fittest of these sides? And look at the gas from Chang again. He's got the bounce again. And that is just beautiful work from the speedster. They are back within two points. And the tactic has worked again. John Walters on the chewing gum. Chewing and hope that's chewing gum anyway. He's chewing something like crazy. Korea now. They punch at the line. Oh, no. That's a disaster. That was under the post for sure. Three and a half minutes left in this final. That would have been a big blow for Hong Kong. Here he goes, this young man fresh in the squad. He's showing no signs of intimidation. What a moment for this young man, Jason J.M. Korea, however, was far from finished. Coquillard goes up. They haven't seen anything yet so far of Jong Yon Sik, the speedster in number 12, but maybe someone else will pick up the pieces. Here he goes. This is Park Hang Yul. He's going to take Meacham on for the corner. He scoops away from Meacham. He's going to go around under the post, and JM can't reduce the angle. And how about that? 19 all. Fantastic comeback from Korea. Here goes Rimini, finds Meacham. They're not done yet, Hong Kong. These are professional athletes, all of them. Max Woodward now, the skipper. That's a good knock from the skipper. Takes it 10, and Meacham finds JM. Rimini now, oh, he's thrown out a loose one, and luckily for him, Park can't hold on to it. That could have been curtains. JM again, Korean backline comes out, Meacham. There goes the hooter. Holy moly, 19 points all. JM now dancing, dancing. Got a couple ahead of him, keeps going. Jason Jan throws it out to Mays. All he has to do to is catch it. And this young man, Jason JM, has been the difference in the second half as he puts Mays away. And look at the celebration. And the slug on his lip looks as happy as he does. It's a good feeling. I mean, our goal going through the, the tournaments were to win all three, you know, and it's, it's hard coming into a final having, having uh, wrapped up the series, you know, to, to go out there and deliver. I thought we, we came through some tough games this tournament. You know, we had a tough semi against Lanka and, and we had a real tough final against Korea. And to come out on top and achieve or get a tick in the box for our goals of winning all three tournaments was pretty special. So three wins from three events for Hong Kong and a chance to improve on last year's second place finish at the World 7 Series qualifier. Sri Lanka also advances despite a disappointing fourth here in Colombo. The high performance portion of the 2016 season is in the books, but be sure and check out our social media sites to stay abreast of all things Asia Rugby. Until next time, that's it for us from scintillating Sri Lanka.